name's Les Miller. I'm the author of a new book from Novalis called Northern Light, a Canadian prayer book. In this video, we'll introduce you to some of the elements that you'll find within the book as I take you from coast to coast to coast, looking at the spiritual landscape of Canada. I drew on different voices of encouragement and inspiration for Northern Light. Jesus, who asked us to consider the lilies of the field. St. Francis, who modeled a deeper relationship with creation, with brother Sun and sister Moon. Pope Francis, who in Laudato Si encouraged ecological conversion and a deeper relationship with creation. Mary Jo Leddy, whose great book, Why Are We Here?, traced elements of a Canadian spirituality. Indigenous voices who call us to listen to the land, particularly artists such as Christy Belcourt and Noval Morisot. As you make your way through Northern Light, I hope that there are some images and words that stick with you, that evoke the sacred layer of Canada. By that I mean the spiritual landscape of the country, places where God's presence is easily felt. If you want, these are thin places where the distance between us and the divine is very small. By contemplating specific aspects of the Canadian landscape, we can find traces of the sacred. In the hemward pointing spires of the Quebec churches, the power of waves crashing into the rocks of Peggy's Cove, in lights of Toronto at night, in the vast prairie skies, the majesty of a western red cedar grove. You'll also find reimagined biblical events and liturgical moments in the Canadian settings. For example, there's a visitation at Pearson Airport in Toronto, or the Emmaus journey happening in Prince Edward Island, or Canada itself reimagined as a cathedral. So this book is an invitation to pray with creation, to become closer to the Creator. Northern Light also nudges us towards ecological conversion by asking us to contemplate our situation in creation in specific places. When you open the book, you'll see 48 prayers and reflections, each accompanied by a photograph that I or my daughter Victoria took. It's divided into two sections, close-ups and panoramas. Close-ups look at the individual places in the country, whereas the panoramas take in the patterns that are found throughout the land. There are also 12 prayers and reflections that uh, you can find on the accompanying website at en.novalis.ca. Also, there are two Visio Divinas on that site to guide you through the processes, plus some other goodies. My hope is that this book and the accompanying resources nurture your soul during this trying time. Hopefully some of the insights here can lead you along a path of healing and harmony with creation. God bless.